verse 19 ever really loud and clear God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall he not make it good is that so in your bible read it one more time one two three go god is not a man can never be a man will never be a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should do what repent have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall he not make it good now verse 20 behold i have received commandment to bless and he have blessed and i cannot reverse it hey behold i have received commandment to do what open your mouth open your mouth i have received a commandment to bless and he have blessed and i cannot reverse it ladies and gentlemen sit down in the holy ghost is there a word of prophecy that came out of my mouth onto your life is there any declaration of the blessings of god upon your life when god has commanded me to bless the bible said he has blessed everyone say he has blessed open your mouth and talk about it say he has blessed and the man who blessed you cannot reverse it then a word came from my mouth over your head and it is God says the Lord and I speak it out no matter what happened between two of us I cannot reverse it I say I cannot reverse it I decree and declare over your life today that every word that is spoken over your life that you have received that it shall not be reversed oh can you shout a big amen can you shout a big amen God is not a man that he should lie and he's not the son of man that he can lie you know many people think that faith is belief faith is not belief faith is not conviction faith is not understanding but faith the equation of faith is belief conviction and action is equals to faith that was a belief so it's a belief conviction is equal and action is equals to what it equals to faith then what is faith faith is an encounter you have with the world encounter the equation of faith is the encounter you have with the world the encounter you have with the spoken word the encounter that you have now you need to ask yourself a question what is it that uh, that can be an encounter that can quicken up the the, 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 the the action it is revealed word of god to you am i talking friends what he has revealed to you ladies and gentlemen something happened yesterday one of my sons from Potaco called me brother brown in fact i i i made him to be a particular of hearing that thing ladies and gentlemen he said to me papa there is danger there is trouble i said what is it he said equipment he bought 2.4 million dollars that amcon is about to sell it out <laughs> that they want to sell it because of debt there's a closure in it while he was talking to me i said to him son that equipment shall not be sell it cannot be sold he said daddy i believe you i believe you sir and i said to him listen to me that god show me four people sitting down that are discussing how to do what how to sell it he said yes sir daddy your tumor they are four persons and i said the name of this one is it the name of he said yes sir that's what it, i said to him those people i am calling their spirit and as i call their spirit i will instruct their spirit i will order their spirit i will command their spirit to do what i said what do you want well what i said two weeks they will give you two weeks and the young man took the word and he took the word because it is a word that god said to me i know that god cannot lie i know that god is not a son of man that he can lie and as he said a word he will watch over his word to perform it he sent forth his word and his word he let them ladies and gentlemen the people that the 
word healed are those who had encounter with the word. They believe the word. But he now said, let me call that person. Let me call the man in charge. And when he called the man in charge, the man in charge said to him, Will you not? I hope you will not fail me. He said, I won't fail you. He said, Are you sure you will not fail me? He said, Somebody has spoken to me about you. Ladies and gentlemen, before the people moved into going to speak on his behalf, I have already moved in the supernatural realm, collected the promise of God, collected, talked to God about his issue, and I brought it down to him. So he makes his belief in me, he makes his understanding with me, he makes his conviction that I'm a prophet of God. When he makes it together and he moved action, it what happened? He received a spoken word fulfillment, ladies and gentlemen. Man, when they said, they said to him, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. He said, and the man said to him, okay, I give you two weeks. And that was the two weeks I spoke out to him. He listened to friend. He said, the man began to say, hey, daddy, he was not understand because he has moved from one place to another because of association with people. And people keep telling him, they are American car. They mean that's where you belong. That's, that's your class of people. And he said to me, he said, Papa, I'm the same who can say my own. I'm about to be friends. Because each time I see the main man that's in response for that, when I call the man's spirit and name, what I see is a white he goat. A white goat will come. I will see a goat on the mountain top while they're charging for war. And I said to him, Don't worry yourself. I'm going to get that goat. Put the name of the man on that goat. Cut the head, and that will be the end of that matter. In this season, there are so many things that God will be speaking to me because you do not understand the, the, the thing that controls the cosmos of the world. Has God said it? He will bring it to pass. And what is God telling me for this month? I want to tell you what God is telling me for the month. And if you will encounter this word, if you will believe this word, if you will receive this word, if you will action this word, doors will be opened unto you. Doors will be opened to your family. Doors will be opened to your children. Doors will be opened to your mother and your father and your relations. Everything you do will work well and I told you that God said to me that this year everything will work well with us but how can this work well with us if we don't action the word that we receive things will begin to work well with you now the Bible said something are you ready to hear what God said are you ready to hear what God said in 1st Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 are you there First Corinthians, somebody read it. Rapa ta 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 ta. Hey, faith. Come say faith. Somebody shout faith, faith, faith. Shout faith, faith, faith. It's not a belief. Faith is not a conviction. Faith is not understanding. Am I talking, friends? God said His word. Believe God. You shall do what? Be established. But when you believe the prophet and the prophet comes and says, Thou shall be this. You action what is said. There was a time, prophet somebody said to me, I said to her, I said, go and do this and God do the one. So that something will happen in your life. She gave the testimony and she went and did that and that because she believed I'm the prophet. What happened? He, she received it. When you action, when you have if, if, the equation of faith, the equation of faith. Someone said the equation of faith. Don't miss God though. Because faith is not something to fall from heaven. So faith is not, I will soon have a car. No. Faith is not saying it is well. I will have it. No. The Bible said that when Abraham heard the word, he received the word. He acted the word. The word manifested. Ladies and gentlemen, I see a manifestation of glory. I see a manifestation of honor. I see a manifestation of power. Because you believe and understand the prophet. And you take what the prophet said. And you run with it. Faith. It was a faith. Faith. It's an encounter you have 
open the word of God and you'll see. An encounter you have with the prophet's word. An encounter you have with an instruction. An encounter you had with some the word of God. Now, First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, What did he say? Eyes. God, somebody read it for me. But as it is written, not that it's going to happen. Not that God. Listen, that there is, it's because as it was formed, as it is agreed, as it has been established, he's talking about formation. Friends, are you listening to me? As it is what? As it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man. The things that God has done, what? The things that God has done, what? Prepared and did what? What does it say? The things that God has made provide provision for what God has already stated prompt for you. He said, eyes have not seen it. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many things that God has prepared for you. He has, some of you, he has prepared cars, houses, you know, all kind of wealth for you, all kind of connections for you, all kind of power for you, all kind of greatness for you. But you have not entered into them, ladies and gentlemen, that you didn't experience prosperity. Does not mean that God has not prepared prosperity for you. That you don't have a child, does not mean God has not prepared a child for you. That you don't have a husband, does not mean that the husband was not prepared before you were born. That you don't have a wife, does not mean that God has not prepared a wife for you. That we don't have 10,000 people in this church, does not mean that God has not prepared 10,000 people that will be members of our church. But ladies and gentlemen, do you want to know the key? Do you want to know the key? That you want, that, that you, that, that you want to become a governor, the not mean that God has so prepared you for you. That you want to be a senator, the not mean that God has so prepared for you. That you want to be a tycoon, a business tycoon, the not mean that God has so prepared for you. That you want to be an oil magnet, the not mean that God has so prepared for you. But why is it that all those things that God prepared for you, not that he's going to prepare it. He didn't see you as time manufacturing it. From the day your mother, great grandmother married your mother, God has seen that you're coming. He has seen personally he has seen me. He knows that we're going to come out and he has prepared something for all of us. But why is it that we have not entered into it? Why is it that we have not received it? Because we have not actioned something. Hey, listen to me. We believe that we'll be rich. We speak we'll be rich. We thought that we'll be wealthy. We thought that we'll live long. But we have not received long life. We have not received divine head. You lay hands on the sick person and say you are healed. But the person died because he, your word did not come to but just because the person has not actioned, he has not actioned the word that was released unto them. God said to me that this month is a month of open doors. He said you will be stirred up into all. And that this month, this year, this year is a year of great announcement. He said that this year things will work well with you. But things are falling apart in your life. Why? Because you have not action. And how can you action? The Bible said there is something that you need to do. There's an action. There's a part you need to play. There's a role you need to play. And what is the role? He said, eyes have not seen. Yes. have not heard. Let me tell you. For you to say, somebody to read what you up. Someone I forget playing with here. It's a lie. Because what God, what God wants you to be, Yes, I've never seen it. No man knows what God said that Michael will be. No woman. No native doctor. No witch doctor. But you know what they do? When they begin to program things into your life, it's because they spied into your life. And they looked into you. And they saw who you will be. Then they begin to block it. Because it's revealed to them. Mama, mama, mama. Are you following what I'm saying? Are you hearing me first? Come on, about to random. Now, everything that joy my daughter will be has been planned, finished, packed, deposited, kept in the storehouse, waiting for John Joy to be born. Matter of fact, waiting for Joy to be born. And Joy was born, but Joy has not received it. Called Josh in the Bible, there was something written about him that he will be a mighty man, there will be king that will be great. But Josh never became 
but when Joash began to search books, he found out that his name has been written before he was born. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what you will be has been written before you were born. What you will be has been written before your mother married your father. What you will be has been written. It has been written. It has been written. Know that God, God didn't start writing your life when you were born. It has been written before you were born. Emeka. But if you want to get those things, there's an action you must take. Look at the people that will get it. How do I get it? He said, the king. He said, bring us to you. Let me show you the king. Eyes have not seen. That means the eyes have been spying, want to find out about your life. Many people want to hear something about your life, but they cannot. Are you go ahead. Even you, it has not entered into your heart what you will be. God has done what? Uh -huh. look, look at the king. The people he reveals what he has planned for them. The people that love him. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of any man. What God has prepared for them that do what? Hey, listen to me. For them that do what? Love him. For it has been revealed to them by the word spirit now now the key the key for you to receive this is that you must action love towards god so if you want this is to be revealed to you if you want to actually get it you must love god so much this month you must love god more than your business you must love god more than your relationship you must love god more than your money more than you anything you have in life more than your thoughts more than your plans you must love god god must be first he must show god when you see shows god that is the first in everything you're doing that any other thing is secondary let me tell you you begin to reveal the word reveal there you begin to manifest to you you begin to begin to manifest those things they are there waiting for you they are in the warehouse but until you action love towards God for thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart with all thy might are you listening to me is that what the Bible said eh? with thy soul if you love God so much and God is not second thought am I talking friends service time God first prayer time God first business time God first anything you're doing if you don't show God deep love everything that is prepared for you will remain in the warehouse of God it is the thing that you love most that makes provisions to you you cannot you cannot love your bed more than God you cannot love your husband more than God you cannot love your wife more than God you cannot love your child more than God. Hey, you can't love your friend more than God. He doesn't want to come to church. Tell him bye bye. What did I say? Bye. He doesn't want to pray to tight. Say you're on your own. But anything that takes the place of God, that is only that will be provided for you. And those things can fail you tomorrow. Are you listening to me? The only person that cannot fail you is God. He said he cannot lie. He cannot lie. There is nothing God tells you that he cannot perform. I believe in my brother, what God cannot do, cannot, does not exist. If you quote it, the Jesus can want to answer there in a day. God will come and shake your love towards him. When God shakes the depth of your love for him, listen to me, he will now begin to make those things manifest. Everything God said we should be this year and this month, who God has already prepared and kept them, but He's waiting for you to action it. Action it. When you turn it, what happens? God drops it at your door. Struggle ceases in your life. If you are willing and obedient, it's not what the Bible says. Thou shalt eat the good fruit of life. Who said it? God said it. Then I am willing. I am obedient to God. I'm obedient to his servant. Then everything will do what will come to me.
God said, I will give you long life on one, no, on one king. If you will if you honor your mother and your father, you will bring what? Long life. You don't honor your mother, your mother and life. Forget about quoting it. Forget about fast and prayer. Forget about all your problems on your head. You will never live long. He said, believe God. You shall be established. Believe the prophet. Then you will prosper. Then if you don't believe in me, forget about prosperity. If thou shalt love, find out what does not love begin to love that thing get acquainted get committed to it get connected to it stand by it take a decision a radical decision that I must do the will of God I must love God more than anything else my time is God's time my life is my God's life my excitement is God I listen if God is excited I am I will be whatever that excites God whatever that makes God happy I will follow that thing whatever that grieves God I will not follow whatever that stands against God I will not do it whatever that works against the principles of life and the traditions of God I will not whatever that is against the customs and the cultures of God I will not stand by that thing. if thou shall love the Lord thy God I live in this are you going follow what I'm saying Look at the key to everything you want in life. Love God. That you're coming to church does not mean that you love God. That you're singing in the choir. It's not the proof that you love God. Am I talking, friends? <laughs> How do I know a person that loves God? It is by when the person hears what God says. That he doesn't want he runs from it and god will say yes this one loves me see how god visited solomon see how god revealed things to solomon because of his depth of love for god eyes have no sin listen to me don't be bothered about witches and wizards again don't be bothered about it because they, they have not seen what god has prepared for you it is hidden from them i say it is hidden from them am i talking friends the only person that God will manifest his destiny to is the one that loves him. Now, hold this thing. No, and this is my word I'm holding. When I tell you, come. Well, Lisa, come and tell you, this belongs to you. Don't come. Be telling me I am coming. And stand like this. You should stand here. This is your wealth. And I'll say to you, oh Lisa, you are going to be mighty in land. And I say, come and take the grace for mighty life. Tell me I am coming. Holy sir, come. Tell me I am fasting. Holy sir, come. Tell him I'm on retreat. Holy sir, come. Tell him I'm very busy. But I am coming home. I will be coming home. And I'm calling Holy sir, come and take what belongs to you. Come and take. Come and take. Holy sir, refuse to action it. Then somebody by the side who saw that this thing this man is not coming to do will action faith he said if man of god is saying this thing to this man buy buy me a car or build a house and the man said i will build it i will build it and he said the man said ah, ah. so this is what they told this man to do and this will happen to him he said no remember that the that thing that man is if you come Whosoever that cometh unto me, I shall give rest. Are you following my point? But this man is the one that the thing is made for. And he keeps on telling, I'm coming. Papa, wait, I'm coming. I will do this. This is what God said. That he was there. And this man said, Ah. So the only thing that can make me have this is actually my faith. So you believe that God really gave me this thing. You are convinced inside that what Papa said is the truth. But you don't want to action it. And faith, the equation of faith is in the action. The equation of faith is what God said. 
and the equation of faith is knowing that God really said it it is the word of God not you doubting it you're doubting you're questioning you're querying and you, you keep on saying I am coming don't worry about God I'm coming I'm coming let me finish what I'm doing I'm coming let, let me do so let me finish I'll come let, 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 God wait 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 God said come and take it and Olisa keep on saying I am coming and this man from there come this is not the person that coming to call it to collect it to. this man from here comes and take an action he obeyed and he goes and when Olisa now came the thing prepared for me has been handed over to another person why because he was not willing and he was not obedient but he has a belief he has a conviction he has trust that i'm a servant of god but he is not ready to action what god has said and that is how people lose their business are you following friends this is a month of open doors on the condition that you will love god more than anything else more than your friends more than the groups you belong to more than anybody that you, you think is important if you believe if you love god and god is first in everything listen to me you will go release and manifest to you read that scripture down read it later and i will close be fast but as it is written eyes have not seen Yes, has never heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of any man. Now listen, when God is saying any man plus you, it has not entered your heart. You don't even know what God has planned for you. But the only way God can make you have, the only way to know the voice of God, the only way God's voice will be revealed to you is that you show him love. Revelation comes as a result of love. You have for God for somebody anybody you don't love God can never give you a revelation about that person I'm not friends, but when you are love and God brings a revelation and you take it for granted your life will be grounded at that time everything will look so sweet to you you'll be getting new things everything but that is the end I'm not friends, I said that is what the end said to Saul, go and kill all the Amalekites. Do you know in the womb, it was an order from God. But he loved, he loved prestige. He loved connection. He loves association. He loves uh, 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 everything that's gold, silver, and he loved them more than God's word. He refused to sacrifice those things. He refused to sacrifice his appetite, his desire. He refused to sacrifice his passion and God said if this man cannot sacrifice his passion cannot sacrifice his hunger and thirst I cannot give him the kingdom I will divide it he went to war and brought those things back when he brought it back and God said what have you done he said I've done this I've done that he said no 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 that's not what I told you you must follow the one I said not the one you think that is right you can be doing good things but they are not the right things before God. It is good to look good. It is good to know great men. It is good to do. But you need to ask yourself a question. Those people that you know you are associated with, if they are throwing you out from God, then you don't love God. You love them. You love their presence more than anything else. And God will say, because you love the presence of this man more than me, you will never be having my presence. You'll be getting, you know, sparks. Sparks in the king and also, and now here Oku Oku make Taiwan. Eh? That's what you see, but the main thing you cannot see. Those sparks can be small, small thing you get. Ten million, one house. Whereas you're destined for estate. Whereas you're destined for hundreds of millions. But because of the little sparks, the little things, the fragrance of food. It's not the food. What do I say? The fragrance of food. Aroma of food can be deceitful. Am I talking, friends? I say aroma of food can be deceitful. There are many things you think that you have today is just an aroma. They are not the thing. 
little excitement, little joy, little fun, little attention, little audience, they are not the main thing. Now read it down, my son. Read it fast. And the things which God has prepared for them that do what? That love him. And go down. <laughs> Listen to me. I know what God has for us this month. Are you listening to me? I know what God has for us this month. And I know what to make it come to us. Am I talking to you? He said it has been revealed unto us. Not unto you. You are the person, but it's not revealed unto you. It has been revealed unto us. Read it again. It has been revealed what? Uh -huh. By his spirit. For the spirit to it what? Search it all things and do it what? Yeah. The deep things. Listen to me. You cannot go reveal these deep things to his prophets. And I am one. Everything God wants to wants to have this year, He will show it to me. He will reveal it to me. Am I talking first? Because you won't see it. Your eyes can see here. He will reveal it to me. Then what do I do? Then I will release it to you. And when I release it to you and you receive it, you will experience it. But if God reveals to me, I say, it's man that told me. He said that people told me. Am I talking friends? Then you will not get it. Say, it has been revealed to us. He has revealed it unto us. And one of the things that God revealed unto us is that he has told me, son, I will give them all these things. I'll make life easy. I'll make things work for them. I'll make things become great to them. If they can love me. When I, they begin to love me so much, I will begin to reveal to you what I have for them. Are you listening to this? It is only when you begin to love God so much that God will begin to tell me things, the plans he has for you. But if you don't love God so much, I'll be blind towards what God has for you. I can't see it. I can't see your healing. I can't see your poverty. I can't see your long life. I can't see your protection because you don't love God so God cannot show me anything about you. If you can love God this month, he will show me things about you. And when he shows me things about you, you will action it. And when you action it, what happens? You begin to experience it. What do I say? Who brought you here? How did you get here? What's he say? Who are those people that I invite people that won't be here? What's he say? Let me hear it. Never take people to the water, never drink the water. May people you don't know direct you to where you will get what you're looking for. Cyrus was not the king of Israel, he was an unknown king, but that was the man that guaranteed Israel sea of O. For their properties, Cyrus. So, if you are thinking that the people you know, I want to. Can I tell you something? Can I shock you? People you will know will not be able to help you. It's not all of them. It is the people that you know that even want to kill you, destroy people you know. They know you. You're free with them. You're open with them. You trust them. You love them. You care for them. You provide for them. You protect them. You fire prayer for them. They are the people that can even close your church. Down. They can even close your business. But do you know some people who don't know you? They fear you more than those who know you. Lift your hands up. That man, lift your hands up. You know, one of my cousins, 
Emi, one of my brothers, election was coming. And I told him, this is what God said I said that you should do. If you don't do it on the day of the primary, you'll be sleeping and they'll finish it. They will make you sleep. Please, please don't distract me there. I'm doing something very serious now. I'm not longer here with you. I told him, I said, hey, you see this is also date. You will not be in your room. If you miss your room, you'll be sleeping here and they'll finish the primaries and they will give result to the person who didn't win. You say, God forbid, this and that. You know what happened? Do you know what happened, friends? The day of the primary, the man slept off. Woke up when they announced the result. You know the person, you know, you know who I'm talking about, job, man. They finished announcing the result, they woke up. I said, please sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down one place, sit down one place, madam. Sit down. Are you following? Sleep. A little slumber. A little sleep. A little put in hand and finger. All this. He said, poverty will come to you like a traveler carrying luggages. Poverty can carry luggages. Am I talking, friends? of his life. He's always sleeping where he's supposed to be blessed. Sleep has finished this man. You see sleep? Sleep has made this man lose connection. Sleep has made this man miss the person that wants to give him money to start business. This man. He was sleeping. The man said, come and see me by some time. What I'm telling you now is what God is showing me. Him. When you look at look up, wait, wait, raise your head up. When you look at this man, he looks everything spotted, spotted, militant, powerful, but all are an area blessings. Who unto you could raise us? For that know it not the time of a visitation. God visited them, they missed the timing. Israel survived because of Issachar. Am I talking first? Issachar, I prophesy to you today that Issachar spirit is always tabernacle with you. The spirit of Issachar is the spirit that knows the time and season. When a woman that does not know his time and his season, he can be missed this pregnancy period. Because he does not know his time, he does not know his season. He said, Issachar, you shall know time and what? And seasons. And that is why you will make it in life. Somebody stand behind him. Lift your hands up, sir. Today, in the name, of, be looking at me, be looking at me, be looking at me. The Bible says, a righteous, honorable king, his eyes phrase away, ferrets it out of his life. Close your eyes. Open your eyes and look at me. And the glory will touch you. There is no place the Bible says close your eyes let us pray. Have you seen the Bible? A man who closed his eyes while Peter, Peter was praying fell down from the upstairs and died. And died. If not that Peter had anointed the resurrection. It's called Eutychus. Father in the name of Jesus I enter into his father's house and I go into the tent of his father. And I decree that this one will not be among those in their family that will be slumbering in the tent of their father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, there are six of them that are slumbering in the tent of their father. How many brothers do you have? Eh? The sixth one. And when you hear six, six is the number of man. That means you are the man that God has prepared. Because the whole world was form and void. Nothing was happening. And on the sixth day, what did God create? He created man. He created a man that will come and take charge. That will be in charge. That will put it in order. And he's number six man in the family. And the devil wants to destroy him. 
you, you need to understand ordinances and timings and a lot of things. And if you're coming here, you will enjoy it too. Because this year, there's nothing I will not show you. Mysteries of all kinds. It is work. This year is the year of work. Deliverance, prayers, and all kind of things. If you can love God and action whatever I say, you will not be stranded. Oh. Look at Pastor China. You see what's happening in this church. I just dedicated her altar. I did some things in that place that he doesn't know that is in existence. And when I finished it, I said, Go and stand there. Stand where I was standing. Were you able to stand there? She couldn't stand. Ask uh, who went with me, sir? Who went with me? John, okay, you carry me. And I was wearing my nickel. I was not wearing suit. I was just coming out from exercise and I went there. I said, Bring me this, bring me this, bring me that, bring me the other one. And when I finish, did I? Is it not from you that I brought? Eh? What? Huh? After I finished it, after I finished it, I said, Stand there. She could not. I, I would do one day pray for you. All I said, just stand. So that you will know what I have done. And there is nothing I will not teach you. But there is much negative for me for an Akita. Titian Akabuta. Ota goes to Tim and Akama. Everything I'm going to come and get him here. Because I have always been looking at. Look at my name. 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 Because in the day, check it. Hey, we've been. Mom, my results. Mom, my results. Mom, my results. You will see. If a woman that has no womb, and I say, Thou shalt be a mother of a boy. A woman that has no womb, she took in and became pregnant. She came and said, This is too much. I said, It's not too much. It is John. And what happened? Nine months after, what happened to that woman? John came out in this church. The husband who said I'm a hypnotist is believed by force. You need to like talk. There are things I will be doing. Mama, mommy, I could defend you. If I want to find him, I'm a real. Ask him, I'm a real. So many of you, there is a service I will do. It is called a bubago. <laughs> I will do a bubago for you. That when you, anywhere you come, do you know it happens to me? Huh? The German travels, goes around with me so much. As I'm walking in, they will be seeing lion. All the evil people will be picking race. Those who don't like me, bang down their face. In fact, but I don't know. Follow, follow for you. Every good man will follow you. Every good man will follow you. Money will begin to follow you. Honor will begin to follow anywhere. Guys, something is following you. You are they say you're alone in the car. You're not alone. There are people following you in the car. Raise your hand up. Today I call you out from that tent where you have been slumbering. I think I need to retrain these people. Why are you looking at them? Are you scared? Why are you afraid? Eh? I'm surprised, sir. Did you hear this? He said he's surprised. You're surprised? Raise your own hand up. Give me an anointing oil. You know what will happen to you this month? This month? God is going to surprise you Amen. by giving you people that will help you. Amen. Surprise. He's surprised. Did you feel like something left your head? You feel like, eh? Something left in my head before. But now, something went out of your head. The chain and the nonsense that they used to monitor you has been broken. Shh! 
Are you still surprised? Nobody pushed him over. The same glory will happen to you now. Even this chair. So she's she surprised. Amy, God will surprise all of us this month. He will surprise all of us this month. My daughter, this is the month you will be constant in this church. This is the year you will settle down here. Don't just my battle, my battle, my battle. Plant your feet here. Give me an anointing oil. Give me an anointing oil, my friend. the demon that is us. He just needs to be surprised. It is not my ring. If I say it's my ring, I'll be wearing my ring. <laughs> that one is surprised. Lift your hands up, everybody. Thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to do and to observe his commandments. that you promised me Lord that is the month of open doors and you say stand them up into honor let everything that makes people to see a man or a woman as a person that is honorable be released unto these ones that are here can you say loud amen shout a loud amen let it be given to those who are watching this broadcast Only a honorable person. Is it car? Is it house? Is it children? Is it husband? Is it wife? Is it connections? Is it power? What is it, oh God? Let it be released unto them. Is it children that are successful? Is it brothers and sisters that are doing well? That makes them say that they are successful, they are honorable. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, receive it. That they see, and one person will not only be spotted, but everybody will be seen as people wearing crown of glory. Let that crowd be released unto us now. As let it come to us now. When a man calls his head, throws his head, it does not discourage him from living a life. But he will push you to increase you. Let there be no minus that will be an affliction to your lives, to your commitment, to your service, to your constantness, to your consistency in serving the Lord. Let not even my mistake hinder you. not my mistake either. for I know that nothing will make a bad water dirty water to stop a tree from growing forth or springing forth let the seed that is dropped upon your life upon your dry ground spring forth, spring forth, spring forth blossom and bud in the name of Jesus Christ your challenges I contend with your contentions with your contenders I release God I release God I release God to begin to fight for you somebody help there I release God to begin to keep her down now why you dragging me you don't know how to catch me you like to see the spin around I don't like it this me I release the angels by the fowler. I command you free, free, free in the name of Jesus. I release
release your beauty. I release your glory. I release the power of God. Put your hands on your head. All eyes closed now. This time close your eyes. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Thank you. For your dropping the oil upon your heads. The oil that opened up. See you. 
you are. So come. Please come with belief and understanding. That's your faith.
the spirit that sponsors wealth let him begin to follow you about in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost in jesus name i pray come here and i to this girl Pastors, 